Good morning everyone. Welcome back. Um, right, I'm only five days off work at the moment. It's just a finish, so I've done a horrible week. <coughs> so, better start doing some filming. Um, been a bit slack yesterday. Went to our Overlander HQ. Um, just had a barbecue last night. So that was good. So we decided to go first thing this morning. It's Sunday morning and we're off to an auto jumble. Uh, it's about 30 minutes down the road. And I'm going to try and get some drone footage for you this week while I'm off um, Grand Lincolnshire. Uh, just saving some pennies to stay in local. But I thought I'd come and check out this place. And uh, I've got to be in the area to drop off me. What do you call it? Inverter. What died on me? There's a guy not far from um, where I live. He's gonna have a look at it for me. Let's see if we can get it fixed and sell it on. Um, I have ordered the new Renner G3000 watt version. So that's coming next week. It's on a, It's on order. Um, it won't be shipped out until the 28th of April. So. Yeah, we can't wait for that at the moment. And then we're done. So yeah, we're just in convoy in a minute and I'll um, we'll catch up with you guys when we get there. in the show <laughs> so he says I've just seen your truck come in yeah bring it over bring it over so yeah, you know, there's a, another big lorry over there so we're driving into the show now we'll go and see when you get parked up there we go so we just got here we'll have a look around That would look awesome with a big box on the back. <laughs> yeah, cool. Stretch the chassis. Or even take it off and just put a box on. That would look awesome. Oh, 
Monk T. Meister. So how about this for a little bit of kit? There's a subscriber as well. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Proper old school. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's just right for restoration. Isn't it? 
It's got all the original steel, like metal um, cupboards, aren't they? Oh, oh then that all that. Then they cap all these fold flat. Look at that. Yeah. So you got fold over because it folds over this way. Fairly overdrive on it, Salisbury rear axle. It's a sort of thing you can go if you can afford to put the petrol in, you don't mind driving a 45 50 mile an hour, you can go to South Africa. It's a good thing you gotta love these little wiper motors. I had a few vehicles with them in. Yeah, all the seats all fold down. Makes a great big double seat, double bed. How cool! Yeah, that's a good side of the windscreen drop still as well, isn't it? Is it windscreen drop? Yeah. Windscreen um, will fold down. Well, it is, yeah. <laughs> there you go. One bed made up. And I suppose you can drop that down, then it makes one complete great big bed. Two upstairs. And behind them covers. Love these old things. It's bit Show. A few turns and see. It's a good few down there. There's a few left now. Um, oh, I've got some. What did I buy? Some gaffer tape and a polishing rag. But I did buy something really good. Um, it's to match them on the roof. I've got a, another red jerry can and a holder. Um, tenor. So that's going to go on the other side of the trunk to make it sort of symmetrical, make them two either side. And, and then I just we need a box in the middle then, an alley box I need making to store all the stuff out of my cab, all the jacks and that crap, but it never gets used. All the ropes, it can all go up on the roof. Then it's going to start on the cab this year. It's going to start getting made, got a middle seat to remove and bits and bobs. Look at that bad boy I got. Hey! <laughs> I think I paid 35 quid for my setup and I had a tenner on it for the both. Cage okay, and the tub matches the one on the roof. Can't believe it, I just had to take my money. So I'm going to get this sprayed up and I'm going to get the other one sprayed up because the case is getting a bit rusty. Yeah. 